Hi, welcome back to another video. Uh, we're going to do a gel polish set, a fairly quickish one. Uh, I'm going to go in with some Venalisa uh, base coat on these tips. I'm going to pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds. And I've picked out a collar which is number 64. So it's almost like a cerise red. I'm going to go in with two coats because as you can see it's uh, not very opaque with the first coat. Such a lovely colour though once it's on. Next up and a matte top coat three of them and then that's going to go back in the lamp for another 30 seconds okay I've got my little palette out and I'm just going to pop some of this um, acrylic paint on the palette just a little blob it's from nail perfect and it's called nail art paint. Uh, gonna drop a little bit of water with that just to uh, mix it so it's a little bit thinner. You don't want it to be thick and gloopy. And then I thought I'd try one of these brushes that I got from AliExpress. I will show you the brush in a second. It's got like two forks on it. So it's got a V cut out the centre. like that <laughs> um so i'm going to load the brush up i'm going to put stuff on both sides because what i don't want to do is be too dry um i'm going to do half a flower on each of these uh, nail tips what i actually did was before i started to have a little practice i did exactly the same on another nail tip and then i just added that nail tip to this collection off camera. I wanted to be certain that I knew what I was doing with it before I started. <laughs> They're really, really easy to use. I think the time will tell is when I've got to do a smaller flower because they're quite chunky brushes. So I'll have to have a little bit of a practice. You have to wait for that to dry, obviously, because it's acrylic paint. So while that's drying, I got on with this bit. I've got some uh, caviar beads from Smiley's, which are white ones. And I've got some others, which are like a cerise pink. I've mixed a few of them together, put them in another pot. And on each of these tips in the center of the flower, I'm just gonna put a little bit of a uh, top coat and then I'm gonna sprinkle them on. Put the dish underneath to catch them all. And then I'm just gonna sweep my finger along the side so I do that on each of them. I only just put enough. This is why I wanted it matte top coated as well because it'll stop those caviar beads sticking to everything else. And then I just use my brush just to bring them back down to that centre and added a few more what needed to get on there. Uh, once they were cured in the lamp, I then went in to top coat the rest of the nail and pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Try to go round those caviar beads as best as possible. Okay, while they were in the lamp curing, uh, on the odd one that I haven't done anything on, uh, I'm gonna put some top coat on and I'm just gonna lay some crystals in some top coat because I take them back off after I've finished, because I'm tight. Uh, they are from Sarah Birchett. They're some of her own collection crystals, so they're called. Um, I've got the Alina Spring Opal mix out, and I've pulled out a butterfly from that. And then the ones that I'm in at the moment are Alina Crystal Moonlight. So I'm just going to make sort of like a swoosh pattern with them, uh, and I cure that. Now, in my infinite wisdom because I was too busy looking at how sparkly they were, <laughs> what I was going to do was put some caviar beads here, there and everywhere. 
I forgot to do that while I was filming because I'm a bit of a dipstick and I carried on filming and then I realised towards the end, oh, I know what I haven't done. So I had to go back and sort of retrace my steps after I'd filmed the end piece and re -top coat again and just put some of those caviar beads here, there and everywhere. I wanted sort of like them in collections, so not just like one caviar bead here, there and everywhere. I sort of like put a few clumps basically. That's the only word I can think of, clumps at the time. So, <laughs> and I also forgot to put crystals on the two exterior nails as well. Yeah, slap my head, I'm a stupid idiot. But I did it off camera, which made the video a little bit shorter for you guys. And yeah, you'll see it in the pictures at the end. So this next little bit, after I've done this bit, you're going to see them pretty naked. So you don't see the best bit like, until the pictures. <laughs> so, ta-da! Yes, naked nails. Yeah, I didn't notice then. What an idiot. I mean, don't get me wrong, they look all right. If you want to go for the plainer look, brilliant. This was in normal daylight. I then switched my lights off and I put my phone light on just to show you how sparkly those crystals are. So yeah, no filters on that at all, just my phone light, which is why you can see a bright white dot. And then look what I did. I put more on. So I'm going to have to be quick. Bye. <laughs>